Okay, so I'm gonna show y'all what y'all get with the Wisecam V3. When you open it, it's got a little quick start guide. And then you get your camera. I don't know if it'll come out. They do a great job at packing these things so they're secure. This will be, I couldn't even tell you how many we've had and have now. Um, so this is the Wisecam V3. Indoor, outdoor, waterproof. Definitely a great little camera. So it's got an adjustable mount. They work great, by the way. I, I, I cannot say how much we like these because these things I've recommended to all my friends. Um, they're just great cameras. So it's a waterproof connection right here, USB, and it's got a mounting hole screw. We also have the metal bracket that you can screw in or glue. And it's magnetic, so click. You got the screws, wall anchors, you got the little 3M adhesive, you got your power brick, and a USB extension. So let's go ahead and open up the spotlight kit for this. So I've had Wise Cam since they came out with the version ones, um, and they've been great. No failures whatsoever. So in here we're going to open this up, <clears throat> get the little spotlight, which we'll just go ahead and attach onto the front of this, just like that. It's got 3M adhesive, so you'll peel that off, stick it on the front, and it's good to go. Next, we're going to grab the little 2-in-1 connector. <clears throat> so all it is is a splitter, so we'll connect it to the camera itself. And the little silicone can be a pain sometimes. And then we'll connect it to the main power wire. And it's good and connected. Just make sure you've got it all the way pressed in. Then this end will connect to brick in this end to the spotlight. What I like to do is once I'm done with this I'll just tape it all up with white electrical tape and make it nice and neat. But there's that. Now let me go ahead and switch over to the phone, connect this and I'll show you how it works. One thing I almost forgot. Bottom right here is the setup button and where the SD card goes. You'll just take and Remove the little cover for the SD card. Grab your SD card. Bend to open. I don't normally buy, like I said, the Wisecam brand SD cards, but since it was a bundle, I went ahead and got it. Go ahead and insert your SD card. This is 32 gig, it's the biggest that they hold currently. But that's all you need because it does, like I said, does events and you can get the online storage. So that's all set up. Let's go ahead and switch over to the phone. All right, guys. So we're here on the app and I'm going to hit the little plus sign, add device, camera. I'm going to select Wisecam V3 and then plug in. The light on the front will flash red, which it's doing. Hit next. Pull the base away. Press setup. Ready to connect. I heard it. Enter my Wi-Fi password. Scan the QR code. QR code scanned. Please wait. And now it's connecting. And it can take a few minutes to do. So just be aware of that. Do. <clears throat> Setup complete.
completed. Setup's complete. Name device, Spotlight. Hit continue. Uh-huh. Just select what kind it's used for. We already have the Cam Plus. Maybe later. We're going to connect to the camera itself. The initial time that you load it will take a second because it is verifying the SD card, Wi-Fi, and all that. So you'll see a loading screen like this. Hope you all like the new camera, by the way. This thing's awesome. Um, the Sony ZV-1. Um, how to get it. It's been out for a couple years, but it is great. Okay, so we have it set up, and all we got to do now, um, I'm going to not do the upgrade. So now it's going to give us an option for the spotlight. It auto detected the spotlight. Sunset or sunrise, motion is detected, sound is detected. You can do a schedule, and you can do low or high. So we can do sound detection, motion detection, whatever we want. I'm going to do motion detection on this, and then we'll go back to see it. I don't want the sound on in this video. And then I can tap the button in the top corner, and I can actually turn the spotlight on. Pretty neat, right? It's an awesome product. It definitely has its purposes. Um, so we can... To see what it looks like on camera. Full HD. Like I said, these cameras are super cheap, but with the spotlight feature, I really enjoy it. So, if you all are in the market for a security camera that has a spotlight feature on it, this is definitely not a bad option. You're going to be in it less than $50, and really, it, for $50, you're not going to find a better camera on the market. You'll find cameras that are somewhat the same, different brands, but this being sold on Amazon, it has a great warranty with Wise. You can call them up. Their customer service is great. They're just an all-around good company. Um, they have had some crap products. I'm not going to lie. Their scale was great. Their robot vacuum was terrible. Uh, just being honest, I do a lot of robot vacuum re reviews, as you all know. And those were just pretty bad. So, like I said, if you need some security around your house and you're looking for a hands-down cheap alternative, and these also make great baby monitors. We used it for Salem for a long time. Um, we put one in our room, and instead of having just the baby monitor and the screen, we can have it on our phone. It didn't cost an arm and a leg. Plus, we also had the baby monitor voice um, system. Uh, by a different company in our room <clears throat> that way whenever she cried we heard it on there we checked the video we we're able to see it high definition nighttime and a lot of those cheaper ones give really bad images at night so this was a great alternative we got good image we were able to save events in case something happened while we were sleeping um, that actually came in really handy for when junior was starting to climb out of his crib because we were trying to figure out how he got out of his crib and come to find out, he was just pushing stuffed animals, and he was stepping on stuffed animals, and then flipping over it and stepping down. So, pretty neat to watch uh, your kids grow up and have evidence like that, because then you can save it. And when they get older, you can be like, this is what you did. But, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. Hope you all enjoyed the new video quality. I'm still playing around with the, the uh, brightness, the white balance, um, the audio. There's a lot for me to still work on. Right now I'm using the onboard audio, but I do have the Rode mic and the uh, Fleet World mic that mount to this camera. I'm also using the small tripod right now just to see. I've got the blur on the back. So definitely a lot to learn about this camera. And uh, hopefully the audio is good because I do need to adjust the audio on the stock. Um, 
but that that will come so thanks for watching guys i hope you all enjoy make sure you subscribe for more videos like this if you have any questions comments go ahead and leave them below